everybody hi everybody <laughs> but i feel stupid today hi everybody welcome back to my channel <laughs> today was a really really rainy day the last few days actually have been pretty rainy april weather <laughs> and i fixed the solar panel yesterday i had some struggles do you remember the last vlog when they fell off the roof right so i finally managed them after all the time to get them sort of fixed and they work now i felt first welded them together with some metal things to connect them back to the cable because they got ripped off i don't have no tools so i'm just using <laughs> whatever i can find I'm just trying to loosen up the plastic a little bit so I can get better to the metal underneath. So I'm really just trying now with that cable to glue this thing on. It stinks. So I'm just doing it all over again and I got rid of the old silicon that's so nasty and I just connected again those things I put I, I welded before and it seems like it works because on that machine machine the multimeter it was showing some stuff so i'm gonna connect it and see if it will charge the battery now it's just that i have to glue them back on the roof they are still kind of loose and it's been raining all day all day so i've been not really doing much i've been watching netflix a lot of netflix to be honest and since it's been so rainy i thought it would be a great day to cook an amazing vegetarian slash vegan <laughs> dinner is really colorful it's super healthy because I've been trying to take care of my weight these days uh, I apply to a gym so almost every second day I go to the gym in the morning to work out and I've been feeling awesome I think that's just one thing that I miss sort of when I was traveling not really just have like your routine and without searching for a gym and without knowing if they're gonna take you and stuff like that you know so I've been feeling great physically and mentally so since I've been taking care a little bit of my health again and my weight and everything I came up with this recipe the other day I don't know if this recipe already exists but I kind of just made it up and I thought it tasted so good and it was so healthy and delicious that i thought i have to share it with you especially since summer is coming and on the way and we maybe all try to care a little bit about our weight eventually <laughs> so i went shopping and i got all the ingredients that i have i'm gonna list the ingredients all down in the comments in case you want to re recreate the dish and i would say we start it's like a lukewarm cauliflower salad with a tahini dressing it's gonna be delicious i promise you and it's really really easy dish you really don't need much so i'll say we start and let's go so we're gonna start here with our little recipe i'm gonna take this first away so you have a better view let me do that real quick just gonna put it on top all right so it's going to be a really delicious cauliflower salad as i said so first of all of course we need a beautiful cauliflower these are all the main ingredients uh, mint cauliflower a little bit of salad um, a little bit of almond preferably already chopped up and some lentils from the cans uh, you can also use the dried lentils that you soak in overnight but I think this is just really easy so this whole dish will not take long so first of all we're gonna get rid of the leaves of the cauliflower <music> I don't know if you can hear the rain just dripping on the roof it's nice when there's no wind for sure but it's definitely one of the most annoying thing I think when you do van life because you know if once you open the door the rain comes in or just your whole clothes get wet and it's hard to dry things up in a van you know it's not like you can just put it in the wash machine and I'm pretty sure you know that feeling that when you feel like a wet dog and you go and you don't have necessarily always the possibility to shower right away in a comfortable shower it is a little bit annoying so having the rain is not really my absolute favorite thing although it always sounds so romantic right hearing the raindrops while sleeping which is, but there are also pros and cons, I would say. We are just basically chopping up the cauliflower into nice little pieces. We don't have to accordingly go through the strings. I've been watching a lot of um, crime series on Netflix. I don't know, I'm addicted to crime series. 
And since since Game of Thrones launched, I was almost scared to go online. So I literally didn't go online for like a day, at least the day when it was released, because I didn't want to get spoiled. You know, I I find it hard to watch it, and I get so addicted. I hate I hate to wait another week for the episodes to arrive. So we have the cauliflower, and this is our main, this is our superstar, the hero of the dish. Which gonna fry them up in the pan. But like just a tiny little bit of water. And at the same time it steams and fries it. A nice curry powder, a yellow one if you have. At least something with turmeric you, you just sort of cook them until you see a nice seal, a nice roast fragrance and we're gonna also add some salt next step we're gonna take a red onion and cut it into little cubes and we're gonna just toss it into the cauliflower with the, on, uh, with the lentils then we take a little pepper bell a little bit of it and you'll see how colorful this dish will get because you have red, green, yellow, purple just have every single color you can imagine then you toss some greens just here in the bowl and you already see all the beautiful colors we have inside here so next we're just gonna roast up some almond bits to have a little bit of crunch you know from the salad just gonna let it roast it took me about seven minutes it was really fast so now we have the tahini it's a sesame it's like a sesame paste um, and it can taste a little bit bitter but if you mix it up nicely with the ingredients it will taste amazing so we're gonna have like one and a half tablespoon of that we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon yep cinnamon just a little bit and a little bit of honey I have French uh, honey from France still when I was in France actually I don't need any of it so we're just gonna have like one teaspoon of honey <laughs> wait <laughs> and half of a teaspoon of mustard Dijon mustard and say a third of a teaspoon not much just a little now we have that we're gonna add a little bit of water and a little bit of oil vegetable oil olive oil or even oh i think sesame oil would be good with that mix it all up so we're just gonna mix it up and then we'll just have the right consistent oh be careful with the comments don't let them burn Meanwhile, we have the sweetness from the honey, the light bitterness from the sesame. Mm, oh my gosh, the honey with sesame. Oh, that is so good. I'm not even lying. And I don't compliment myself too much on my own food because I'm really critical. <laughs> but it's so good oh my god that dressing is something else so now we take a little bit of lemon squeeze it in here just a little bit mm. <laughs> That's all it is, right? a little bit of roasted almonds a little bit of mint and just rip it on top you have so many flavors in just this little dish and it took me less than 10 minutes to cook it 
it's like a lukewarm salad and then you take the dressing and you drizzle it just on top Eat it. Oh my god. It actually tastes so good. Wow, this is so amazing because you taste the mint, you taste the lentils, you taste the sesame with the honey and the curry. And it feels like all these ingredients don't fit together because it's unusual, right? But it fits just so beautifully. And I've cooked this so fast. I think it's just so amazing to eat <laughs> cooking with cans can be a bit difficult so i'm just gonna continue eating this and i hope to see you soon and try this out and then you send me a picture because i promise you you won't be disappointed so um sending you kisses bye bye